Imagine building a giant 2,000-year-old concrete dome that still stands strong today without any modern tools. Welcome to ancient Rome and the Pantheon, an architectural wonder that baffled engineers for centuries. The Pantheon's dome is made from concrete mixed with volcanic ash, making it super light and durable, way ahead of its time. This dome is a perfect hemisphere 142 feet wide, and it doesn't have any steel reinforcements. The secret? The Romans cleverly used lighter materials as they built higher, and the oculus, that big hole at the top, reduces weight while letting sunlight pour in. The Pantheon wasn't just a temple. It was a symbol of Roman engineering genius and their understanding of materials and geometry. It influenced countless buildings throughout history, from Renaissance churches to modern architecture. So how did the Romans figure all this out without our fancy computers or cranes? Their blend of practical experience and experimentation was truly revolutionary. They mastered the art of mixing concrete with volcanic ash, known as pozzolana, which gave the structure its incredible strength and resistance to cracking. The gradual change in the concrete mix, from heavier at the base to lighter at the top, helped reduce the dome's overall weight, preventing collapse. The oculus not only lightens the dome, but also creates a dramatic effect connecting the interior to the sky and emphasizing the Romans' sophisticated architectural vision. The Pantheon's design principles have echoed through time, inspiring architects like Brunelleschi, who designed the dome of Florence's cathedral, and even influencing modern-day stadiums and public buildings. This ancient structure is a testament to human ingenuity, showing us that with creativity and hands-on knowledge, remarkable feats are possible, even without advanced technology. Next time you see a dome, remember, it might owe its design to a 2,000-year-old Roman experiment.